Hi there, I'm Michael Cohn from Advanced Tubular Technologies. In today's video, I'm going to do an import test for Transfluid. And this is for a Transfluid customer that has a Kaons WN6000 scanner. And they imported a scan and then they exported an STL file. And now I'm going to import that into VTube Laser. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into my point cloud control and I need to go to the file tab go to import STL and and display the points so that VTube can manage it. I'm going to go into scan setup. I'm going to set the point proximity down to 125 thou, retrim all the buckets, press F2, F3, zoom all. Now we're going to make all the point buckets what are called active, which means we can actually edit them. I have to do some trimming here. I can see we've got a bit of a table here. See the table right here? I've got to get rid of that. It'll help me a lot in my selection. So I'm going to go ahead and take the time to do that. If you can scan this part without getting the table, that's great. If not, we can always delete points like this. All right. Now let's check for the table anywhere else. Okay, now we have just the tube with its components. So let me hit uh, F3 to zoom all. I'm going to put it in orbit mode and kind of look around this part here. It looks to me Let's see, we've got a component here. We'll be working around that component. I think this is a straight. And here's a straight. Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward tube here. Let's see what we got going on over here. Yep. Just want to look through it. And let me go into what's called measure process. I'm going to multi-scan, and when I do this, I need to count the straights. One, two, three. I'm going to assume that's a straight. Four, five, six, seven straights. So we're going to multi-scan. First thing I need to do is go ahead and select the end. I need to select some points down here. And it's asking for one of two. So what I'm doing here is I'm asking for points on either end. Okay, so let's finish up the tube. So we're on straight two now. Hmm. There we go. Not sure about these points. I can try them, but it looks like we've got more than the diameter out here, so it might fail. Nope, it worked. Okay, now let's get the end. All right, now let's finish and build a tube. Looks like our radii are a bit off. Not a problem. We can uh, go into measure process, measure bend profile. And let's do the inside only. Works fine. Okay, so we've got like a 30 millimeter, roughly, radius. So we can just copy this to all the radii, right? And just assume that that's the radius used. I mean, hit F3, zoom all. Okay, so now we've got the entire part here. Now, at this point, Let's just say I want to go ahead and perform an alignment. And we don't need those points on anymore. So I could go into space objects and I could say just turn all these off, uh, display all off like this. And so the points now go away. In the alignment, what we need to know is we need to know the master tube over here. So 
I don't know what these values are supposed to be for the master tube, but um, if you enter the master tube here and then do an alignment, it's going to allow us to compare this to the master tube. Now, what you would do is you'd bring in a master model. I'm just going to assume that this bend and that bend should might be 90. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just set the master part at 90 and 90 degrees here. I have no idea what the rest is here. So now I've just changed the master tube. I'm going to perform another alignment. Our uh, deviation tolerance right now is 3.2 or 4 millimeters or 125, which is pretty generous. Let's set this down to uh, a more common uh, default tolerance for something of this size, like 39,000 inches, which would be one millimeter. This part is out here on the end because I just changed the master tube to have 90s on the end. Of course, I don't know for sure, but at this point, if you do this, then you know that the part needs correction because it is, if we go into inspection data here, you're going to see that it's out of tolerance at the tangent midpoint tangent. And you can see we've got one and a half millimeters of deviation right here. That is represented by the distance from here down to there. Let me turn on transparency for you so you can really see this. So the distance from here to there is a three-dimensional 1.5. So this would be like having a GD&T GD profile, surface profile out of three millimeters. So you just double that number. I'll just describe what you're looking at here on the screen. The pink tube is the measured align. The white tube is the master part. The blue cylinder indicates the tolerance right here. And the tolerance changes colors. You can see how it changes colors to yellow when it goes out in that section of the tube. And you can see here that the part is overbent, clearly. I mean, you, you can see it visually. So this is like putting the part into a gauge. Now, we're going to go into bender setup next. Okay, so in this bender setup menu, we're going to communicate with Transfluid using Supervision Network Protocol. And the first thing I'm going to do is copy in all of the information here. In fact, I should give this a part number. When I bring the part in, you can see we've got a part number here. And we've got all of the blue columns that represent what was used to set up the bender to bend the part. And then we have the orange columns, which is what VTube wants the bender to have to bend the part. So we only changed the first and the last bend angles, didn't we? So we've got the bend angle here, we've got 90. And we've got the correction angle, 88.4. So it basically wants to drive the angle negative 1.6 degrees for both the front and the back of the bend. This part, if this is supposed to be a 90 on either end, this part is clearly overbent by 1.6 degrees. You go in to correct the bender, and then you'd push auto send like this, and it sends the data out. This data is then taken into the T project software for Transfluid and automatically then corrects the bender. All right, that's the entire demo. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.